Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. The question has been asked, why do we have delays on bomb fuses in DCS? Well, my understanding is the reason we have time delays on bomb fuses in DCS and the real world is so that you can change the damage profile caused by the bomb. So if it's an instant fuse, it explodes as soon as the, you know, the, the impact fuse is set off and therefore it will essentially explode above the target or as it's impacting the top of the target that it hits if that's a tank or a ship or a runway or whatever whereas if you put delay on it then the proximity fuse will crush as soon as it hits the target and then the bomb will punch through the target and explode from the inside so if you're bombing on a runway for instance that would cause a lot more damage if the bomb penetrated the concrete first and then exploded from the inside out and to be honest just about the same for most things a ship put a fuse on the bomb it will punch in through the deck of the ship and explode on the inside out it's going to cause probably more damage than the pressure wave exploding on the outside of the ship so that's my understanding of why you may have a delay and there may be other reasons as well so the next follow-up question is of course is that modeled in dcs so i've got a pair of mark 83s i've got a aircraft carrier out there on the opposite coalition i'm going to drop one times mark 83 directly in the middle with an instantaneous impact fuse then i'm going to restart the server to keep everything empirical i'm going to go around and drop the same bomb in exactly the same place but with a few delay on the fuse and let's see if we can create a different amount of damage to that ship uh, after that we are going to go and bomb the runway or probably the, the apron we'll see whatever's easiest with a instant bomb and the same bomb again with a delayed fuse and see if it creates a different crater and we're going to see if that creates crater is diff more difficult to get through while taxiing a vehicle down on the ground so, so i'll use nose tail so both fuses master arm at ground uh here stores 83 luckily these modern planes are quite similar to each other the one saving grace of the modern planes remembering how to use them so i've got nose tail instant here I'm waiting for the mirror cue to get down to the bottom i pop him right in the middle of the flight deck there pull up pull up yes really somewhere pull up, pull around up. there bomb away pull up pull up wait for the register of the damage 1% damage, 1% damage with the instant fuse, okay? To make sure everything is fair, we're going to restart the server now and try with a delayed fuse. And it's done that much damage, however many pixels that is. Stores page, get used to this now, CCIP, uh, nose, tail, delay one. You've got two different delays, but I'm just going to use delay one. And uh, pop, that's one pull times up, delayed up. bomb. Whee. <laughs> Look. Oh, it's actually inside one of the cargo compartments and it exploded. <laughs> Boom. 1% damage. Exactly the same RC. So, um, no, uh, there's just, just the same amount of damage. That's a bit disappointing to see, but so be it. And here it did uh, one pixel of damage. So it, it, it doesn't, it's just broken. It just doesn't work. So the next thing we'll try is bombing the tarmac on the apron and we'll see if we can get different sized craters. I'm going to have a delayed bomb on the apron. If you can put, when I put it down, if you can put a, de a instant bomb near it, then um, we can compare. Pull up, pull okay, up. that's a delayed fuse bomb for Cap. Let's go and watch that little baby go down. Okay. I'm away. Watch out. Okay, another Mark 83 down. Right, let's go and jump on ground birds. We're on ground birds now. Let's go and see if we can experience the gravity that those craters are going to impress on us oh there's one right here i see there is our seas one uh, on my right hand side by about 50 feet and my one hasn't appeared I and mean, we all saw it all sort of blow up but it didn't create a crater um i don't know why where is the can you see your bomb crater on your screen i see yeah yep you're going through, through it through right now yeah yep. so i can see you dipping through can you go to the other side where I dropped mine? Did you see where mine exploded? And can you see uh, my crater? Generally, I can't see the crater. No, even I. Can you go and try and go through where mine would have been? I'll try and I'll try to yeah, do the same. Well, it should be over here somewhere, right? Yeah, I think I put it a little bit closer. Dude. So, yeah. Just saw the ship shooting. Oh, the ship's shooting. shooting us. I don't know why, but it is. That's just an occupational hazard of being a GR testing group. Turn back right. He didn't get anything. 
Roger. No, I hate to say it, but it's yet again it's bugged. It, you know, if it's delayed, it doesn't create a crater, and that's annoying because the whole idea of doing the crater, as far as I'm aware, I'm uh, sorry, doing the delay, is that it's supposed to make a bigger crater. Incredibly frustrating. Shouldn't make any difference on the runway, should it? No, you know what? Um, this isn't the first time I've seen this RC because last time okay. Auntie bombed the runway. Um, with the delay on, her bomb radius just disappeared. I thought it was just graphics bugs, but it does appear to be fully bugged. So, another one to the bugs list, I'm afraid. How disappointing. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. Right, so be it. See you later.